So it's no surprise that the ability to dress well and fashionably and suitably is essential to making the best impression and to being your most confident self. And so color is definitely going to play a massive role in creating your image. And while some men can intuitively feel what looks good and which colors and shades are incompatible, but this is rare with most guys. And so thankfully, in time, you can acquire it by mastering the basic rules of our color matching guide here and hopefully you can put together some harmonious and stylish outfits. So let's start things off now with the basics of the all-important color coordination and color combinations. The art of combining colors is a crucial nuance. After all, even the most expensive things can look hideous together and spoil the impression that it's meant to have just like flashy, tasteless outfits. To avoid these mistakes, you need to master the basic rules of color combinations. The first step is that you're going to want to choose the main shade as the base color of your fit. As previously mentioned, it can be a suit or a combination of pants and a shirt. I recommend to take a neutral achromatic palette as a basis, for example, black, gray, white, brown, and navy. And again, the advantage of these neutral shades is that they can be perfectly combined with other colors, but you don't want to get too carried away with one hue or one shade. It could be a little bit boring, you know, unless that monochromatic look is what you're going for. In my opinion, an ideal outfit consists of two to three shades, and keep in mind that if you add any more colors, then it could just get a little messy. It's also easier to combine monochrome colors than printed ones. And so the closer the colors are in the color wheel, the easier they are to combine. For example, you got a base color and the two adjacent sides, they're excellent solutions. And an even more effective move is a combination of shades located opposite of each other. But here, you have to be a little bit more confident in your knowledge of color. But using a color wheel isn't always possible, and so it's probably a good idea to remember some combinations. Of course, monochrome outfits are great. I love rocking monochrome all the time, but you know, sometimes you just want to mix it up. And so some of the best and most expressive techniques in color coordination and co combinations is putting together contrasting colors. And so the next portion, I'm going to talk about excellent contrasting colors. 